Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Today we're gonna to make a gas leak detector. The nice thing about this project, it really is not gonna cost anything. You might have all the parts and ingredients at home already. So this is part of my new series called Today in the Shop. So the first thing you're gonna need is some kind of spray bottle. And here I have one with the label on. And if you pull in the corner sometimes, you can pick that label right off. And if you keep working it off, you will end up, you will end up with a little bottle like this with no glue on there. If by chance there's some glue left, some silicone spray, any kind will do. Spray it on there, let it sit for a few minutes and take your fingernail and scrape it right off. So I've done that with a couple little bottles here. I'm just gonna use a shorter bottle here. Next, you're gonna need some dish soap. Any kind will do, but do you ever realize the two leading manufacturers of dish soap are both ladies' names? I don't understand that, but it works for me. So just put just a little bit in the bottom. You just gotta put enough on the bottom, way less than an ounce. Next, you fill the bottle up about three quarters with water. I get a lot of questions that people ask me, do I have running water in this shop? And, and yes, I do. I just ran to the house and got some. Now we're just going to add some water in here. There's no really crucial measurement here. Put your spray pump back in there. Now give it a shake. So all the soap is dissolved evenly. It has a nice blue color to it. And I'm gonna spray it right here and see if we have a leak. You see bubbles. So you see the bubbles coming up? I have an air leak there. I have some little scrap piece of inner tubes on my channel lock jaws so I don't gouge into the plastic there. And I'm just gonna give this it's a turn. This is plastic, so if you over tighten, it's gonna crack. So now let's try it again with some air on there. And I can see without even spraying, I can see without any spraying on there, I'm leaking pretty good. I think a little worse. So off camera, I'm gonna take this apart, put more Teflon tape on there and try it again. After taking this apart and putting a new Teflon tape and tighten it down pretty hard, no more leaks. You can see that. So another place in your home or shop could be leaking, could be gas cylinders, like in a welder or on a homebrew kegerator. Let's go take a look at my welder. So I have two gas cylinders here. One for MIG and one for TIG welding. And every time you change a bottle on here, you should check for leaks. So look down here, I'm gonna spray this connection here. And I don't know if you can see that bubbling up. So after zooming in there, you can kinda, you can see I have a leak. See the bubble there? So let me go in there with a wrench. Most of these regulators take an inch and an eighth wrench. So let's just snug this up here a little bit. That was just a very short turn. And now we're checking again for leaks. Got just a little bubble there. We'll tighten it down a little more. And hopefully that will do it. And I don't see any leaks. I also like to check my regulator at the base of both gauges, which I just did off camera. 
just one tiny leak here. So it's good to check for leaks every time you put a new bottle on or if you feel you're going through gas quite frequently. For home brewing, it's very similar, very similar regulator. I also got a leak test. I have a friend who says he goes through gas all the time. Next time I see him, I think I'm gonna give him this little bottle so he can do a little leak testing on his own and see if he does have a leak. If you don't have one of these spray bottles, now I saved these from hand sanitizers. I remove the label with a little silicone spray and I peel the label off with my thumbnail. Put a little dish soap in there and water and I made my own gas leak detector. So if you don't have access to one of these little bottles, you can go to the Ultra Mega Bigger Box store and you can buy it, it's about $5. I made this one really at no cost for things I had laying around. You can see here I have an extra bottle. This is gonna be a gift for my friend Victor. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Today in the Shop. Please subscribe if you haven't and share with your friends. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.